Hi guys and welcome to the EV Evolution. In this video we are showing the Trebant 601. This is our finished product, so if you need a Trebant to get EV converted, you can contact us and get your the kit install, installed in your Trebant. So in the, this kit we are offering the 15 or 30 kilowatt peak power uh, permanent magnet synchronous motor, so the most efficient motor that you can get in the market and the motor is here underneath, maybe you don't see it because of the plate here, but motor is very small, 26 kilos, so very light motor and delivering high power because of the permanent magnet synchronous motor efficiency and light weight. It delivers 150 newton meters of torque and 7000 rpms so very fast and especially for this car having like 600 kilos so this car is going like crazy and it doesn't even need to use gears so you can lock it in the fourth gear and drive it as this So this car has a original gearbox, as you can see it here, but it doesn't have the clutch system. So you just lock it in the gear you want. You can use, for example, third or fourth gear, but we mostly recommend using the fourth gear. And you just drive it in the fourth gear using the gear shifter electronic for electric, electric motor uh, direction switching forward or reverse. To use the third gear, this is just like maybe for some kind of racing, if you want to accelerate very, very fast, then you can use the third gear. And for all, or all normal city driving and daily driving, we recommend using the fourth gear for daily use. This is the LFP, the safest battery on the market. So the 12 kilowatt hours LFP, 96 volt system and as the safest battery, battery in the market, it's also usable 100%. It's not like lithium-ion flammable batteries that can be used between 20 and 80% of the battery state of charge. Here we have the charger. Charger specification depends on your requirements. We have between 2 and 3 kilowatt charging power for the AC, or we can add multiple chargers if you want to increase the charging power to up to 6 kilowatts depending on the battery so if the battery is 12 kilowatt hours then we can use maximum of, of 6 kilowatts for charging to keep the battery at the longest lifespan it can have uh, here we have the power distribution box so the uh, high voltage power distribution box or 96 volts power distribution box that controls high voltage it has shunt and the relays to activate a high voltage system in the car this is the motor controller and this is the charging socket we have here. So the charging socket is connected in the front and we have type 2 socket for charging. And as you can see, this is the normal charging socket for the European standard. And it has electronics to activate or deactivate the charging. Underneath we have the push button that activates the public charger. So if you are using the public chargers, by using this push push button you can activate or deactivate the charging so you don't have like uh, pulling the socket out when the charging is still active you just push the button and it communicates with the char public charger and sends the that you are finished with the charging so it's connected to the socket and our installation of the pcb that controls public chargers or communicates with the public chargers is inside of the socket if you go on the left side of the car, you can see that there is uh, one box here. This is the low voltage or pre and pre-charge system uh, control. So this is all low voltage that uh, that we use for controlling this battery and the motor controller for everything. So everything is inside, even uh, DC-DC connection and pre-charge system that controls the high voltage power distribution box. Here we have DC DC converter this is behind the battery box and DC DC converter is 
for like alternator in your car, so to power the 12 volt battery that you can see here to charge the and uh, for daily use of the lights and things like that. Also, we have here additional switch. This is for this is like a winter switch. So in the winter you turn on the switch and it activates inactivates the heating inside of the battery. So to keep the battery warm at temperature that is good for the car for daily drive. And when you don't need, use the car, you can disconnect the heating. Heating consumes only like 20 watts. So very good, efficient and keeps your battery safe. And now we are going a little bit inside of the car. And inside of the car, we can see that car is already running because of the screen showing green light. And on the left side, we have the heater switch. So we activate the heating by using this push button. And here is the safe switch. So this is the European standard safe switch that is obligated to have by law in all electric cars. So this, this connects only high voltage system it doesn't touch the low voltage system. So when you push the button, the high voltage disconnects from the power distribution box. Next is the screen that we added. So this is our EV Evolution screen that you can see for the 96 volt system. And in this screen, you can see the current consumption. So when you see this minus showing here, that means that we are consuming the power. And if we go to the amp settings we are we can see the amp, amp hours remaining in the battery and we can also change to the voltage to see the voltage of the system you can also see the percentage of the battery by using this each lines so these lines of the battery each line means 10 percent of the battery or you can also check here the real percentage we mostly like to keep it on the amps so this is the current amp usage. So you know how many amp amps you are draining when going, let's say, uphill or fast accelerating. So it, we can, we mostly in our tests we manage to get to 340 amps. So very high powerful, yeah. Uh, and this is the electronic gear shifter. So this is the normal Trabant gear shifter. And you just put it, let's say, in the fourth gear. And then from the neutral, you put to the forward and you just drive. And if you look below, you can see that clutch pedal here is fully on the wall. So it's just now used as the leg rest. So not usable at all. Just like decoration, let's say. And brake is normal. And this is the electronic accelerator pedal. And it drives like in the Tesla. So when you push the accelerator, it accelerates. And when you release the, the accelerator, it regions and uh, charges your battery and also brakes so depending on how much you release the, the accelerator pedal that is the amount of the power it will drain uh, or it will charge the battery or break uh, how fast it will break so if you release accelerator fully it will break with full power that is configured for this car and if you release it slowly then it will slowly break with the electric motor and charge the battery at the same time so it's using the power of the braking to charge the battery and over this we have the dc air heater so this is the air heater that we use for uh, vent ventilation or the heating of the old classic cars that have air heating and by using these pipes we can direct the heat in the direction that we want so very simple air heater one kilowatt of power and it works the same as the, any other air heater it just blows the hot air from the inside so since this is electri electric air heater it's immediately active and the hot air it's going very fast you know? so we, within within few seconds you get the hot air in the cabin so much more efficient than in any other let's say petrol or diesel car now if i press the accelerator so we'll put in the forward this gear shifter is in neutral and we can spin the motor so listen for the motor sound and also watch for the screen to see how many amps we are, we are draining and if this minus sign switches to positive that means that the region power is working at the moment
also when the battery blinks and shows charging that means that we are region charging the battery so when going downhill you just release the accelerator or and control how much power you get into into the vehicle and how, what speed you need to achieve so by releasing more accelerator you will get uh, more region power and that means more power into the or more energy into the battery and more electric power for braking uh, this is all for Trabant uh, now and keep subscribed to see our other videos because we are always working on 10 to 15 cars at, at the time so keep subscribed to see many other videos and my, many other cars that we are converting to electric